For me, benzoyl peroxide is the best acne treatment. It is very affordable, you can use it at home, and you can find it in any country. The issue is that if you don't use it the right way, your skin will get very irritated and most probably you'll give up and you'll stop using it, which is a shame because it really gets rid of the acne. Under my previous video for benzoyl peroxide, you guys left so many questions regarding the side effects. So in this video, I will give you detailed information, a complete guide on how to use benzoyl peroxide for acne. I'll share with you all the steps that I follow to get rid of the acne and also to maintain clean skin. I'll also show you all the products and I'll give you some life-saving tips. And all that information here is based on your questions. So it's gonna be very helpful and I'll try not to make this video too long or boring. So let's get started. So I managed to get rid of the acne with only three products. Cleanser, benzoyl peroxide gel 2.5% and a moisturizer. The first thing I do in the morning is to wash my face with some cleanser. It is super easy. Just splash some water on your face and then add about a teaspoon of cleanser in the palm of your hand and make some foam with your hands. Then gently apply the foam on your face and start moving it for about a few seconds. Keep in mind that it's better to use more cleanser than less, so be generous with it. Don't overdo it. Don't rub or scratch your skin and use only your hands when washing your face. Don't use any cleansing devices or wash clothes. Most probably they will cause irritation, which means more acne. Then gently pat your skin dry. The towel should barely touch your skin. Never rub or scrub your skin dry and it's best if you can use clean towel every day. I bought 10 small towels from the supermarket and I use a clean towel every day. It really helps. Oily skin and acne go hand in hand. So if you have acne, most probably you have either oily or combination to oily skin, like me. Here are some of the cleansers that I love and recommend. CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser, Bioderma Sensibio, Acne.org's face wash and CeraVe SA cleanser. However, you can still have acne and dry skin type. In such case, try some more hydrating cleansers like Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser or the Hydrating Facial Cleanser by CeraVe. It's okay if you cannot find these brands in your country. Just look for the words like non-comedogenic, not drying, without fragrances, for sensitive skin, when you're choosing a cleanser. I was shocked how many people asked me under my <laughs> previous video for benzoyl peroxide if cleanser is mandatory. It is super important, people. Just think of all the things that your skin is exposed to throughout the day. The pollution, makeup, sweat, and if you apply any skincare on top of that dirty skin, it simply won't work great. The cleanser will get rid of the bacteria, the dirt, the oil, the dead skin cells, and it will leave your skin clean and fresh and ready for um, step number two of your skincare routine, which in our case is benzoyl peroxide. So if you just buy benzoyl peroxide and you, you know, start applying it like a moisturizer, after a few days your skin will be very red, dry, irritated, um, it will start peeling and most probably will be itchy and painful and you will not be able to continue using it. Benzoyl peroxide has some side effects when you first start using it because your skin is not used to it. But the more you use it, the more your skin will get used to it and these side effects will disappear. Now the trick is to start with soap peroxide slowly. That way you will give your skin some time to adjust and the side effects will either won't be there like you won't experience any side effects or they will be very minimal. Like for example, you'll still have a little bit dryness, maybe your skin will get red in some areas but in general it will not be painful it will be bearable so here is how to start using benzoyl peroxide 
start with a small amount and increase slowly in the next few weeks. Like you can start applying only a piece size of benzoyl peroxide only once a day in the evening and then keep doing that for a week or two. Once you feel like your skin can take more benzoyl peroxide then start applying a piece size twice a day in the morning and in the evening. And then slowly increase the amount every week. The graphics that I just showed you are just an example. Make sure to observe your skin. If it's irritated, then you can skip a day um, or you can use even less amount. Just to mention that if your acne isn't that bad, then you can just apply it once a day in the evening. But if you have severe acne or very stubborn acne like mine, then it's best to apply it in the morning and in the evening. Currently, I use about a um, half teaspoon of benzoyl peroxide and I don't apply it all over my face. Which leads to our next question. Where exactly do I apply it? <laughs> so, if you have acne all over your face, then of course you apply it everywhere. However, if you, let's say, get pimples only on your cheeks, then apply it only on the cheeks. Me, for example, I mainly get pimples on my forehead and my chin and sometimes here um, around my ears, but I never get in this area or around my nose or, you know, here, so I don't apply it over there. And once again, make sure to apply it very gently. Um, it's best to get the gel because the gel is just easier to apply without any irritation. Some of you are probably wondering if applying only on the spots uh, work. In my opinion, this method doesn't work. Um, actually, this happened to me when I went the first time to dermatologist. She prescribed to me benzoyl peroxide and she told me to apply it only on the spots. And I did that for a few weeks. Um, the pimples that I applied benzoyl peroxide on were gone, but then new pimples showed up and I was so frustrated. So I did a huge research online and it turns out that this simply doesn't work. It's the skin that is the issue, so we have to apply it on the whole area where you get pimples, not only on the spots. And finally, we have to moisturize the skin. A lot of people leave the moisturizer out of the skincare routine, especially people who have oily skin because they think my skin is not dry, it's the opposite of dry, it is oily. But your skin can be oily and dehydrated at the same time. Actually, excess oil can sometimes be the body's response to skin that is unbalanced or dehydrated. Anyway, I don't want to confuse you, so I would just say that if you have flawless skin, probably you don't even have to use any skincare. But if you have acne and you're using benzoyl peroxide, you have to use moisturizer. And the moisturizer has to be for dry skin at least the first month. Currently, my favorite moisturizers are by CeraVe. The CeraVe moisturizing lotion and the moisturizing cream. And also, a lot of people like to pair benzoyl peroxide with Cetaphil moisturizing lotion and the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. But don't worry if you can't find uh, these moisturizers in your country. Just look for the words like non-comedogenic, for dry skin, fragrance and dye-free, for sensitive skin. And just one more tip about the moisturizer. You can apply if you want a few times a day moisturizer. So if you feel like your skin is dry and it needs some help, then you can add some uh, more moisturizer. Don't apply the moisturizer straight away after BP. Give your skin 5 to 10 minutes to completely absorb benzoyl peroxide and then you can apply the moisturizer. Oh, and I always apply a lip balm on my lips and eye cream around my eyes because even though I don't apply benzoyl peroxide there, I just feel these areas dry because of the benzoyl peroxide. Last but not least, um, actually this is very important, make sure that you wear um, SPF every single time when you go outside. The thing is that when you use benzoyl peroxide, your skin gets more sensitive to the sun, which means that it can get sunburned more easily. All I'm trying to say is be careful, wear a hat, uh, wear SPF, 
and just try to avoid unnecessary uh, sun exposure. Okay, so now I'll reply to some of the most asked questions. Make sure that you watch because I'm sure that you probably have some of these questions in your mind too. Do you wash benzoyl peroxide off? There are two ways to start using benzoyl peroxide. One of them is, I call it the washing method. So people recommend that you apply benzoyl peroxide um, for, I don't know, a few minutes or an, an hour or something. Then you wash it off and you apply your moisturizer. And then the next day you do the same and you do that for a week or so. The other way is by starting slowly. So you start with a little amount and then you increase it every week until you know your skin get used to it and then you can apply it as many times as you want. So that's why it's confusing because most probably you read some articles that say you have to um, leave it for an hour and wash it and some articles say that you leave it on overnight. So the truth is that you can do both ways, it's up to you, but my advice is don't mix them, just pick one and stick to it. How long should I leave benzoyl peroxide on my face? So if you apply it in the evening, you leave it overnight and then in the morning you wash it with a cleanser and you apply it again so basically around 10 to 12 hours. I always apply moisturizer first, then BP on top. Is it fine? Everybody says that benzoyl peroxide works best when you give it a chance to absorb into the skin first. So I think that if there is a moisturizer in your pores, you know, before benzoyl peroxide, it might not work that well. Is 5% benzoyl peroxide bad? As far as I know, there were three studies which uh, compared 2.5, 5% and 10% benzoyl peroxide and apparently 2.5% is as effective as 5 and 10% but it's not as irritating. Benzoyl peroxide usually takes about 4 weeks to start working, so be patient. If after 4 weeks you don't have any results, then probably you're doing something wrong. Can I add toner in this skincare routine? My advice is keep it simple, at least for a few months. Uh, keep in mind that the first month your skin will be sensitive and probably irritated, so every product that you use might irritate it even more. So after a few months, when you are confident with this skincare routine, um, you can start adding more products and see how it goes. Did anyone have a darker skin after using BP? Yes, that happened to me. Uh, someone actually said to me, oh, have you been to the beach? You look like you have tan. And I was like, no. <laughs> uh, but I think that happens right before the skin starts peeling. However, if you start slowly, most probably you won't get to that stage. Okay, so let's quickly summarize. To avoid the side effects, you need to start using BP slowly. Acne.org recommended you start with applying only a pea size of it, only in the evenings for about a week or two, and then slowly increase the amount every week. After a month or two, you should be able to apply it twice a day without experiencing any side effects. So first you wash your face with cleanser, then you wait about 5-10 minutes for your skin to dry. Letting your skin dry allows the BP to better absorb. Then apply BP on the whole area where you get pimples. Again, wait another 5-10 to 10 minutes. It is important to give BP the time it needs to properly medicate before applying moisturizer. And yes, moisturizer is a must in this skincare routine. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. I reply to all the comments. As I said earlier, I have another video for benzoyl peroxide and I highly recommend you to watch it. Um, I tell different things over there. I mean, some of the things are the same, but I'm sure it will be very helpful for you. So I will leave a link somewhere here. 